Neuralink is a company created by Elon Musk that makes brain machine interfaces. They basically focus on making chips that could be implemented into the brain that could read our brain signals and send signals back. Now what we see in the video is a monkey who has two brain implants from Neuralink, one on each hemisphere, and they basically read the brain waves of the monkey. Now in his right hand he has a joystick, and while moving the joystick he moves the white dot on the screen, and he moves it towards the orange square. Now every time he gets into the orange square, he will get a smoothie of banana through the stick that he has in his mouth, and he will be rewarded. Now this makes the monkey do this over and over again. Basically, while the monkey is doing these tasks, the computer is reading the brain waves that are associated with the movements that the monkey is making in his hands. After a while, if the computer has analyzed all these movements, they can unplug the joystick. And as you can see right now, the monkey is still moving the joystick, but the joystick is not connected at all. This means that the white dot on screen is only moving because of the interpretation that the computer is making from the implants in the monkey's his brain. Now after a while, they even take away the whole joystick and they learn the monkey how to play the game Pong with just using its brain. And every time he does a good job, he gets a little banana smoothie through the tube. But this is just insane. This monkey is basically playing a video game right now without any controllers. He's just thinking while playing Pong to go up or down to make the ball bounce back. Now what Elon Musk said is that this is a great, great step for Neuralink and they can finally show off how much further they got. They made their chips so much smaller compared to last year's. But the most important part is what Neuralink wants to do is to use this technology for people that are, for example, paralyzed. Because this could allow people with paralysis to actually regain control. And that's, for example, to use a computer or to start texting or anything. And eventually what Elon Musk's focus is and also the focus of Neuralink is not just to read the thoughts, not just to read the movements and translate them into something on a computer, but also to send back signals to the brain. This could eventually be even turned into, for example, a prosthetic. Let's for example say a user thinks, I wanna pick up this box, then the arm will actually move and pick up that box. And they could also send back a signal to the brain that it actually feels like they're picking up that box. Now this is just amazing technology and it almost sounds like science fiction, but it's actually working. And what we can already see is it can also not only be used to treat people with it, which is already amazing, but eventually when this technology gets more and more advanced, we could also see it in gaming. Right now, of course, we will not plant an implant into our brains just to be able to play a game of Pong. But imagine the possibilities of virtual reality or augmented reality or anything when people have these implants or maybe even without the implants in the future that we could have and maybe full dive in virtual reality like Sword Online will actually be possible. The only problem we're facing right now is the moral issue of needing an implant. If we could find a way to read the signals of the brain but also send back signals to the brain without needing an implant and just outside of the skull by for example using a headset, that will be an even bigger breakthrough. And if that happens, I'll make sure to cover it on this channel. But to see this technology, to see this monkey actually playing a game with just using its brain is amazing and an insane advancement that makes science fiction become reality.